Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is uh, your brother Walid Basuni. My brothers and sisters, I would like to share with you uh, uh, some of the principles that uh, I learned from looking into the subject of good deeds and bad deeds, hasanat wa sayyat. As we all know, we all do good deeds and bad deeds on a daily basis. But uh, this principle, I want you to think about it and to reflect upon it. Maybe it will help all of us to increase our good deeds during this month. Principle number one, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, out of his generosity and fadl and, and blessings that he have made, every good deed that we do, it will be multiplied to 10 times. It will be multiplied 10 times any good deeds that you come with. And those who have perfect Islam, where Islam is perfect and, and they are good Muslims, and Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, every single good deed you do, it will be multiplied to 700 times, 700 times. But on the other hand, the bad deeds is only one bad deed. So you do a sin, it will be counted as one. It will never be multiplied. Because Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala told us that the way to survive in the Day of Judgment, if you come in your good deeds, way more than the bad deeds. Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala said, وَآخَرُونَ مَرْجُوُونَ إِلَىٰ أَمْرِ وَآخَرُونَ اَعْتَرَفُوا بِذُنُوبِهِمْ خَلَطُوا عَمَلًا صَالِحًا وَآخَرَ سَيِّئًا They have mixed between good deeds and bad deeds. And Allah SWT end by saying, إِنَّ اللَّهَ غَفُورُ الرَّحِيمُ Allah is the most forgiving, the most merciful. The, the point is that your good deeds must be way more than the bad deeds. And it's very easy to do because of the concept of multiplying all the good deeds. And Nabi SAW said, if you say after Salah, SubhanAllah, Alhamdulillah, Allah Akbar, 10 times each, that's 1500. Uh, after you multiply, if it's one, 150, you multiply by 10, 1500. Good sleep, SubhanAllah, Alhamdulillah, Allahu Akbar, 44 times Allahu Akbar, and 33 times SubhanAllah, 33 times Alhamdulillah, that will be 100 and it will count as 1000. The Prophet said, Who's among you commit 2500 sins a day? Rule number two that uh, uh, subhanAllah every good deed, every good deed you do, it will wipe out the bad deeds, the minor sins that you commit. That's why a man came to the Prophet and said, Ya Rasulullah, I, I did something terrible. I, I, I kissed a woman in Nabi Sallallahu When he saw him that he's sincere in his tawbah, he said, go pray two rak'ahs. Inna al-hasanat yudhibna sayyi'ah. Good deeds will wipe bad deeds. The Prophet ﷺ said, follow the bad deeds with the good deeds. Atbi'a sayyi'at al-hasanat. Tamha, it will erase it. So that's a concept also to encourage us to increase our good deeds, not our bad deeds. Not to do the sin and say, okay, I'm going to follow the good deeds. No, it doesn't work this way. This is meant for encouraging you to do more good when you sincerely repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Number three, that out of Allah's generosity, that every good deed, that all the all the, the the good deeds that you do, it will remain for you. Uh, even uh, Allah forbid you start doing something bad, it will remain. It will, you will not lose it. But anything that you did in the jahiliyyah in the old days, all the sins, if you repent sincerely to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala and you commit yourself to the Deen of Allah and you Allah sees that you start doing good deeds, all the bad deeds in the past will transfer to be good deeds. Those who Allah transfer their bad deeds to be a good deed. Number four, that every de good deed you intend to do, you have the intention to do it, and for whatever reason you were not able to do it, it will count as one deed, and one as one good deed. So even just with the intention, but not vice versa, any bad deed that you intend to do, and you didn't do it, uh, you stop yourself from doing it, it will not be counted as a sin. As a matter of fact, if you stop yourself from doing because you fear Allah or you know it's wrong, it will count as a good deed. Finally, any bad deeds that it is done by mistake or because someone forced you to it or because you forgot and you do it, it will be forgiven for you. It will be forgiven for you. You will not be held accountable for it. These are five beautiful principles. You can through them understand the, the mercy and the generosity uh, and how much of love and Lord that we have. This principle I never intend to make it a reason for any one of us to belittling the sins, but to honor the good deeds, to care about it, to love it, to go full force for it. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help us all 
to worship him in the best manners.